Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is about these battery swappers. Um, this is one I made a while back. This is all time-based, um, two relays. This one, you just put a separate input to where um, the running of the relays doesn't mess up your, your test or your experiment. Uh, because these use 350 milliamp to stay on, so half the time you're like 350, half the time you're nothing. Uh, but if you put it into a different battery, then all the switching stuff is completely separate, which is kind of cool. Um, so then I developed this one. This is a latch and relay. Uh, there's actually two of them in here. Um, and then this is a this circuit runs um, on the batteries itself that you're using. So this circuit to monitor the batteries, it's about 12 milliamp. So very very small amount of power. I think it's actually about 10. And um, so yeah, these monitor the battery, and then once the battery gets down to, to 12 volts, then it's going to switch. So right now we're running on this battery, and we're charging this battery. So if you look at here, this is the input, and then this is the output with the cap dump going through. Um, one issue I did see with this system is there's only three terminals on the, uh, on the switch side, so you have positive common and on some of these circuits like on this motor this ice this is an isolated output so this is a completely different coil on the bottom so but if you hook it up to your regular Bedini style output um, these common positives make a direct short so um, I have to find some that don't have a common positive on the trigger um, or just make it completely separate but for now this is this is what I've been working on lately um, as long as you have an isolated output, it works quite nice. So, so yeah, right now we're running on this one, and we're charging this battery. And then, like I said, it's set up for 12 volts. So what we're going to do is slow this motor down to where this battery will get over and be able to switch. So watch right here. So now, now we're running on this battery. And this one's charging. So it was a real quick little clap, but so it went from this circuit to this circuit. So it's adjustable, but just by changing a resistor. And um, uh, I'll probably put a pot on it later, but for now it, it works real nice. You don't really want your battery to go below 12. I mean, 11.5 is getting down there. I think it's better to switch right around 12. I mean, that's. Um, you get down to 12 and switch batteries is pretty good and um, like this one's just time based so you could set this one up for you know minutes or hours uh, but this one's just set up on voltage only so right around 12 volts about 12 12 one something like that it'll switch over so but um, this is long running so if you have these type of batteries you know at one amp you're you're almost a hundred hours before these switch so um, it's a long time where, where the time one you can just dial in an hour or whatever and, and they'll switch around but um, for this one I'd suggest some smaller batteries to where you, know, you don't have such a long run time because those big batteries 100 amp hour when you're using one amp you know, it's going to be a long time so anyway thanks for watching